Hey guys, it's the most electrifying woman in travel vlogging, Katie from the K Show blog here. Woman of the hour, woman with the power, too sweet to be sour, baby. Had to throw a little wrestling promo in there, but I'm very excited to be sharing another cool adventure in North Carolina with you today. This one is kind of short and sweet. It's a quick and easy one, but a fun little day trip if you are, you know, living in Fayetteville or anywhere in North Carolina, really. But uh, obviously, if you're living in Fayetteville, uh, like I am, this is a good little day trip option. And the, how I got this, I just am using my Fort Bragg bucket list. I'm taking things off as I go and I have it available for you to download if you want one of your own. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can just download your own, tick off the adventures as you go and it's going to make it really easy to fill your weekends full of adventure while you're living in Fort Bragg. So get yourself one of those and now I'm excited to share with you a giant coffee pot. try and fit this in the frame here. So this giant coffee pot is in Winston-Salem, which is about two hours drive from Fayetteville. So it is a really good day trip option. The only thing is it's really quick and easy. Like once you see it, you've seen it. There's nothing else to do, you know? So it's not something you would come out and just do this on its own. You'd probably come out, see this, take a few photos and then see a little bit of the area as well. Maybe get lunch and, and help boost up that, that day trip just a little more. Sorry, hair fell in my mouth. So for a bit of story time on this coffee pot and why it's here, it was built in 1858 by brothers Samuel and Julius Mickey. And what it is, is just a seven foot tall coffee pot in the middle of the street. So you might be thinking though, like why a coffee pot? Why was it put in the middle of the street? And it was actually built as an advertisement or a sign kind of for their tin shop. So kind of just to bring attention to their tin shop. Then it was relocated here in 1959 uh, to sort of stand as a symbol of hospitality for the area and have a cool little attraction. <music> you can hear over the cars but for the logistics of planning your day trip like I said it is pretty quick and easy and it's a bit of a waste to drive all the way here just for this but you could combine your day trip with this and then go also see the world's largest chest of drawers which I, I have a video and a blog post on that so you can just check out my channel to get more information on that but that's pretty nearby and I think those two would make a cool day trip together because it's seeing unique giant attractions in the same day so that could be a fun one but yeah you're, you're probably going to want to combine it with at least a lunch but maybe another another site in the area as well so that's really all i have to share with you as far as tips for getting there but i'll also write up a full detailed blog post with a bit more detailed information on parking and stuff uh, i'll leave a link in the description for that so check that out if you want a bit more detail also leave my fort bragg bucket list link uh, like i mentioned before so check that out if you want a way to make your life in fort bragg easy to fill it with adventure a way to make it easy does that make sense yeah a way to make it easy to fill it with adventure and otherwise i would just see you next time bye